Hi, this is Gary Shapiro, President of the Orangutan Republic Foundation. I'm here uh, with a bunch of people coming in at the Indonesian Consulate, where we're going to be joining a, a large celebration tonight uh, of environmental achievement in the Nusantara Room, just behind me. And we hope that everybody will have a great time. We're going to have uh, music. Uh, we're going to have good food. We're going to have uh, you know some dancing, Indonesian dancing. So we're going to mix culture and biodiversity as part of our theme today. So we're looking forward to it. Orangutans are critically endangered. All three species, two on Sumatra and one on Borneo, are facing extinction if we do not stop the destruction of the rainforest. Thankfully, there are organizations who are working tirelessly to build capacity amongst local people to actually become the stewards of the environment. Our hope is that the orangutan populations will be able to last indefinitely, but it's very challenging these days, uh, especially as climate climate change has been affecting all of us. Hi, this is Ingriani Shapiro. Um, I am the co-founder of the Orangutan Republic Foundation. Thank you so much for um, being here with us, celebrating and acknowledging all of the hard work of those environmentalists. Um, what I'm wearing is the um, costume from Borneo. It's a Dayak costume. It's beaded. A lot of feet works. And um, hope you enjoy this evening. Ed Begley here at the Pongo Awards for the Orangutan Republic. Gary Shapiro has been a friend of mine for a long, long time. And I'm happy to be here yet another year being part of this award ceremony. Very personal, wonderful again this year to give an award to someone I care for a great deal and respect. That is Deanna Cohen, We're working with the Plastic Pollution Coalition. I was one of the founding members of that and very proud to be so. She's eliminated a lot of the single-use plastic out there, helped us find ways to replace it. But the Pongo Awards about preserving the, uh, the environment, protecting the web of life that is part of us all, and orangutans are a big part of that. And so we, we need to do it for ourselves, our own species, many other species. You know, how many rivets can you lose from an airplane before it ceases to fly? At some point, we will all crash, and we must prevent that for our own sake. Hi, I'm Susan Bell. I uh, am the au silent auction coordinator for the gala tonight. And I think saving orangutans is so important because Indonesia in general is just such a diverse area and the rainforest there is under attack. So um, I love to come out here and support uh, the Orangutan Republic each year when I can. And I'm happy to be working on silent auction because then we can raise money. Hello, my name is Jack. I'm the kid conservationist. And I want to save orangutans because one day when I was just eight years old, I went to a zoo. It was here that I learned about orangutans and how deforestation and palm oil were affecting them and that my actions were leading to the extinction of my favorite species. I feel such a special connection with orangutans because I have red hair and share 97% of their DNA with us. So that's why I feel so connected with orangutans and why I really want to save them. My name is Adrian Cariotti. My husband volunteers with the organization, and orangutans are like a early warning system that something's wrong with our planet. If we don't take care of the species on the planet that are so important for the health of the planet, then it doesn't say very much about us. This is Juanita Kemp, and I've been a longtime supporter of um, Gary's efforts. I met him 30 some odd years ago when I first went to Borneo and I've been working to save orangutans ever since. We've got to save them. Um, they're one of our closest relatives. There's not that many left. Hi, my name is Paul Matthew, and I think I want to save orangutans just simply because they're our brothers and sisters. They're part of our environment, and uh, we shouldn't be selfish and take the whole earth to ourselves. All right, I'm Brett Anderson, and uh, I want to help orangutans because uh, they deserve to be helped. <laughs> they deserve to have some habitat and the space. I'm Topher White. Uh, I'm here because, wow, what an organization to be here to, to talk about orangutans. They are kind of the heartbeat of conservation in Indonesia, and such an important thing to, to save and protect. 
My name is Julia Gao, and I was asked to make the presentation for the second award this evening, an award in the category of sustainable commerce. Good evening. Thank you so much to the Yerongi Technical Public Foundation for this award. Um, I'm accepting it on behalf of my company, Aspiration. Thank you very much. Obviously, thank you to my dear friend, Ed Daly. And um, I want to just say thank you. I'm so honored to receive this Pongo Award in recognition of the work of Plastic Pollution Coalition. I'd like to thank you, Gary, and the Orangutan Republic Foundation and the Orangutan Project. Thank you for honoring me. I'm very grateful for this. And I'm able to say, I think we're both uh, celebrating at the moment. Uh, the foundation is celebrating 30 years of conservation. So we really appreciate this award that you recognize the work that we have done in central Kalimantan and supporting Sumatra. Thank you for your award. What have been given by you to us for Tumbling Wild Lab Nature Conversation hopefully can support our spirit to continue all this environment sustainability in the future. Thank you. Hello, I'm Johnny Hughes. I'm the producer and one of the directors of David Attenborough Life on Our Planet. On behalf of Alastair Fothergill, Keith Scully, my fellow directors, um, and of course, Sir David himself, um, thank you so much for honouring us with this award. It means a great deal to receive um, an award uh, from an organisation such as yourself. Thank you.